Yo guys, what's going on? Scorpius here, bringing you a brand new Destiny video, and in today's Destiny video, I will be showing you guys what Xur has brought to the tower, my opinion on the items he has brought to the tower, and I'm also going to show you how many strange coins I managed to collect since last week, and how many legendary marks I managed to collect since my uh, week 3 video, my progress video. Uh, I didn't manage to give myself that many strange coins this week, and I could have gotten the same amount that I had last week, which was around a hundred and something strange coins, but rather I got half of that because I was pretty busy this week with school, uh, a lot of studying and whatnot. But basically, it's really, 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 really easy to bag strange coins. If I would have had the time, I could have probably gone like further than I did last week. It is insane how fast strange coins are dropping. So I got like 51 strange coins since last week, since last video. And I'm really close to getting more. I just haven't had time to level up my uh, Crucible anymore. As you can see, I'm about to get 5 out of that one. I'm about to get 5 out of this one. And I'm halfway on this one to getting 5. Um... I think even your gunsmith and uh, Crota Bane, Crota's Bane sometimes give you packages as well because I've seen them draw packages. A lot of people say they don't, but I've seen it draw packages. I know I've gotten a package or two out of these. So anyways, I'm really close to getting that many more strange coins. It's really easy. And I haven't even done the daily, the dailies for today and I'm already at 197 legendary marks. I haven't, I didn't do it yesterday either. It's insane. Well, anyways, I'm going to continue this video and just uh, continue off with sure. And uh, he's selling a Legacy Engram, a heavy Legacy Engram, yet again. Uh, like I said, guys, don't grab this unless you need a year one exotic that you're missing in your collection. He's selling the uh, Skull Fort helmet for the Titan. Now, this this helmet, um, I couldn't say it's definitely my, my favorite. It really is not. There's... I think better helmets in this in my opinion uh, I would save my coins till maybe maybe <laughs> maybe next week uh, the only cool thing about this is that uh, kills with uh, fist uh, storm fist will immediately regenerate health and that's pretty much it it's pretty much it anyways the knuckleheaded radar uh, this I would definitely recommend it I recommend this for PvP quite a lot that's a right now 310 and honestly i didn't realize how great this dang helmet was till i got it out of an exotic ingram at 310 it forced me to wear it and i've been wearing it for the longest time and it's insanely incredible and this one actually has really good roll i'm actually thinking of buying that wait let's see when you pick up an orb what does this one have uh shoot whatever that's fine this has a really good roll if you guys don't have this helmet I have it at 310, which is probably why I'm not going to change it, but this has intellect and discipline. It also has replenish health when you pick up an orb, not like mine. Mine's like recover shield, or shield start regenerating as soon as I pick up an orb. This is really good, and then you can increase the intellect and discipline yet again. That's a really good roll. I recommend getting that, guys. If you guys don't have it, and you guys play a lot of PvP, I recommend this straight away. This is really good. <clears throat> The second perk, however, the uh, melee kills from millions of darkness. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing. You get your uh, super back super quicker. But uh, I think, in my opinion, this is like legitly, legitly great for PvP. Aiming your weapon will still let you see your radar. And then we have the class of Akamara. I've never seen too much use to these personally. I've never used them all that very much, so I can't tell you if they're good or not. It just gets you an additional melee charge for your warlock. So, like for the Sun Singer, where you get a shield, it might be very helpful. That's the only way I can see it really popping out there and even being worth it. But, anyways, uh, if you guys are into that, you guys should grab it. If not, then uh, yeah, you guys can always use the exotic Ingrams here, which is what I would go for first before grabbing. Like if it was if it was a helmet, I would always grab the helmet before I grab this over here. Unless you really 100% wanted it, you saved the last 13 of your coins and uh, got these because it could always turn into these over here, or in this case into the gauntlet here. And anyways, guys, you guys know what I'm going for. Anyways, I'm going for that three of coins. Let's see how many I get this week. Probably not that many. Last week was insane. I got a whole load, whole buttload of them. That's four, right? And that's five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like I managed to bag myself eight of these, coming up at a grand total of 
35. Is it 35? Or did I already have some on this character? I know I transferred them over. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I managed to bag myself 35. That's, that's cool. Have another 35 in my, uh, Warlock as well. So, that'll be really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to bring you guys as much content as possible. Help you guys out. School's been getting in the way of me and my streaming. If you guys know, as most of you guys know, I stream. That's what I do. And uh, I haven't been able to stream as much, uh, as much as I want to. But uh, maybe at some other point in my life, at some other point when I have time, sometime this semester maybe, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, like I said, please make sure to subscribe. Hit a like on this video. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.